This is a basic Pandaro lesson by Dudu Tucci, Brazilian percussionist, and he was gracious to supply us with this lesson for you all. Uh, I've done a Pandaro lesson, but he, he, you know, he does some things that I don't do. He's from Brazil, so this is way closer to the source. Thanks again, enjoy the lesson. Hello people, I'm Dudu Tucci from Brazil, and uh, I am here with the uh, uh, World Drum Club, and I'm gonna talk about pandeiro a little bit. Yes, for instance, if you never touch the pandeiro, or if you want to know about pandeiro, it has six sounds. You have the right side, which is the thumb, and you have the left side, as if it were your arms, yeah? And the right side, the thumb, has an open tone. You play with this part here of the hand, and then you have the tip, which we call heel, yeah, here, and then you have the slap. So you have a... Now, in the upper part of the hand, you have the open tone, like a talking drumstick or tabla. And then you have the tip, and then you have the slap. All right, and this will give you lots of possibilities to play patterns, funky patterns, bayon patterns, samba patterns. This is the start. The samba comes, the samba pattern comes from a rhythm from the candomblé called the kabila. The kabila is a rhythm which has three voices plus cowbell, and one of the voices is like this: tum, ta kum, kum tum, ta kum, kum tum, ta kum, kum tum, ta kum, kum tum. Without the jingle. So this is what we're gonna do. We have uh, one. But to get there, you have to know how you move your hand. And I'm gonna show you. For instance, you have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Th uh, thumb, tip, heel, slap. Thumb, tip, heel, open tone. And then I'm gonna show you now very slowly. Hmm? One, two. Without this map, you could go like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is a way of playing without muffling. Now I'm trying to muffle. Or like this. Talking about uh, the muffle aspect of the pandeiro. In the 10 inch pandeiro, you can do it here, for instance. or here, and then you go. All right, and uh, you pretend you're playing a surdo. And then you have, with a slap, And then you have with a syncopation on the fourth beat of 
the bar or of the pattern. Now I'm going to play them a little bit faster so that you get the feeling of these grooves. The first one. Now with the slap. And now with the syncopation. Syncopation in this case, because there are many forms of playing the syncopation, many different ways. The easiest way, and the way you start, is like this. Don, 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 don. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right. Okay, so we'll be. Alright, so also this is a modern uh, way of playing the pandeiro sometimes includes this movement here, which is a particular sound. It could be like uh, one, two, three, four, 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 one. We start with heel kick. Okay, but don't move with the right hand. I am a left-handed, so don't move with the hand that plays. For instance, now accentuate like a samba. And then you can have uh, one, two, three, four. And then go to the slap. talk about the Kabila. The Kabila is uh, the mother rhythm of the samba. It spread it in the surdo, went to the surdo, went to the pandeiro play, went to the timba play, went to the tambourine, to the snare as a marcação. When people say tek chica tek chica tek chica is still tik pakum pitik tutum tutum tum kakum tutum pakum kutum pakum kutum pakum kutum. So maybe it would be called the DNA of the samba, the first cell that one has to learn in order to enter the world of samba playing. In several kinds of samba, like uh, bossa nova, pagode, sambão, uh, samba de roda, and uh, samba de raiz, this does not change. It stays like this, this group here. Then you go. So I would like to thank uh, World Dorm Club that provided me this video for you. 
my endorser, Contemporanea, and Calango Virtual Store. Have fun, keep on practicing. Thank you very much. What a great lesson. Hey, everybody, I want to give a big thanks to Dudu Tucci for sharing that information with us here on World Drum Club. All of his contact information is below in the description. I also want to thank Chrissy and the team over at Kalango.com uh, for connecting us. And you can go there, Kalango.com, check out instruments and also Pandero.com. If you're excited, I'm excited about Pandero. I'm going to get out my Contemporanea Pandero I got 40 years ago. That's right, folks. And uh, do some practicing, all right? So I hope you do that too. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell. For supporters of um, World Drum Club, patrons of the channel, we've got another lesson by Dudu over at the Patreon site, patreon.com slash Kalani, where he breaks it down even further uh, and gets into some more details about how to play the Pandero. You can check that out if you are a courses or private lesson tier patron. Go check us out over there. Lots of videos at Patreon that are not here on YouTube. Support the channel. You'll feel good and you'll do better and go out and play the music you want to play and have fun with percussion. All right, I'm Kalani. This is World Drum Club. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all in another lesson.